the state's top legal officer says you paid for with the misuse of public dollars. And this involves a nursing home in Orleans County with a very checkered past, according to state and federal officials. Tonight, the owners are on the hot seat in a lawsuit that's worth millions. Two on your side's Ron Plants is here to help explain this case. Ron? Scott Mary Alice, the state attorney general and her staff have leveled these charges of financial fraud and neglect and harm to patients against the owners and operators of the Villages of Orleans Health and Rehabilitation Center, that nursing home complex located in Albion. Now, James told reporters today that Bernard Fuchs and other family members and his associates have for years since they acquired this facility in 2014 from Orleans County been involved in a financial fraud scheme as they use millions of dollars in Medicaid and Medicare funding, some from the federal government, to personally profit instead of maintaining adequate staff and infrastructure upgrades for the complex. She says state law requires owners of such facilities to make sure elderly and otherwise disabled patients are properly cared for. Uh, the owners failed this duty at every level, instead diverting millions of dollars in government provided funds, taxpayer dollars, away from the facility to increase their own personal profit and to drastically cut staffing at the villages. As a result, Residents were neglected and repeatedly subjected to inhumane treatment. Some died. No one returned to my call to the villages for a response, and we see that a video featuring Bernard Fuchs extolling the care at another of his family's facilities on Long Island was hastily pulled down this afternoon. The Fuchs and their associates have been linked to other facilities elsewhere around New York State and other states, but the attorney general did not specifically mention any others, only saying an investigation is ongoing, which may also include other agencies since federal dollars are also involved here. We've also determined that the state health department, which was part of this investigation and which with federal inspectors had previously fined the villages over COVID procedures violations back in early 2021, then awarded a $300,000 competitive grant to the villages back in the fall of 2021 to actually expand that nursing home. Relatives of some of the alleged neglected or mistreated resident patients were also there today with class action lawsuits pending as well and probably more investigations, including the feds. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.